so thank you to all of you for being here today and thanks for people who are uh, attending the seminar on online thanks to the live stream uh, this is the first uh, uh, session of a seminar series uh, on the concept of urban metabolism and it will be uh, uh, an opportunity for me to share with uh, with you um, part of the work, research work that I'm doing as a member of the Urban Metabolism Lab at the uh, Louvain Research Institute for uh, Landscape, uh, Architecture and Built Environment uh, under uh, uh, the supervision of Professor Daniel Perotti who is uh, <coughs> here with us today. And uh, there's one, uh, one of my colleagues from uh, the uh, Urban Metabolism Lab who is working with me on uh, the conceptual aspect of the project. So the project, the aspect of the project, the aspects of the project that are more directly related to the concept of urban metabolism. Uh, Isabetta Rosa is also here uh, uh, with us. So we might have a more interactive discussion than just listening to me blabbering about uh, urban metabolism. So, uh, the talk that I'm going to give today uh, deals with uh, uh, the uh, concept of urban metabolism as a tool for uh, understanding and influences how cities and more broadly human societies interact uh, with nature in, um, uh, against, the backdrop, against the backdrop of uh, growing concerns uh, uh, related to uh, climate change uh, and urban sustain sustainability in times uh, of uh, global ecological changes. And the, uh, one, one major question that is, one major issues that is related to uh, such uh, uh, concerns and which uh, uh, is uh, uh, tied to the concept of urban, of urban metabolism is the question of uh, how and to what extent this concept could be used to understand how uh, the agency exerted by uh, humanities, uh, by, by humanity, by uh, humankind on uh, uh, ecological, social ecological systems at uh, uh, different uh, uh, levels. Uh, um, yeah, so uh, how, how and to what extent this concept, the concept of urban metabolism, can uh, allow understanding and uh, making sense of uh, humanity's agency on over uh, social ecological system at various uh, uh, at various level and uh, uh, time and uh, temporal and uh, spatial scales. So. As uh, highlighted by the IPCC's uh, sixth assessment report, uh, urban areas have become uh, crucial uh, drivers of uh, uh, climate change, but also uh, crucial levers for climate change uh, uh, mitigations. Those considerations uh, uh, dovetail with the notion uh, developed uh, by uh, geographer, ecologists and biologists that rapid urbanization is contributing to the emergence of a new Pangaea, <coughs> an increasingly interconnected global space in which the intersection of ecological, social and technological processes affects uh, human environment relations or more generally human nature uh, relations. Um, hence, the growing attention uh, revealed by a quick uh, scope of search that the concept of uh, urban metabolism has, has garnered precisely as a tool for studying uh, human-nature uh, 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 relations from researchers interested in sustainability during the last 15 years. However, what kind of metabolism is the urban metabolism? And more specifically, what kind of hybrid social natural systems does the expression urban <coughs> metabolism uh, refer to? Moreover, under which conditions and to, which, to, to, and to what extent does the urban metabolism concept foster a better understanding of the impact of anthropic activities on the stability of ecosystems at different levels. Uh, this talk explores uh, such uh, uh, questions based on insights from the FNRS-funded IEST uh, Nexus project, currently pursued at the Urban Metabolism Lab, lab of the, uh, the UC Louvain, 
under the supervision of Professor Perotti, which aims to illuminate how uh, the uh, concept of agency alongside those of information and space time, so agency is the A, uh, information the I, and space time the ST in the, uh, in, the, in, in the title of the project. Uh, contributes uh, uh, to shaping the conceptualization and uh, modeling of the urban metabolism as an urban socio-ecological system. Uh, maybe we, we might uh, uh, go back uh, to, the, uh, to the project and uh, its uh, goals uh, in, uh, later in the, in the presentation, thanks also to the, the present of uh, Daniela and uh, Elisabetta. So here I'm going to uh, my talk. Uh, so uh, unfo unfortunately, I prepared. Uh, uh, I thought it was way too long. So um, in this, uh, uh, I'm going to proceed in two steps. Th I'm going to give this presentation, uh, trying to uh, skip uh, over parts if uh, time uh, doesn't uh, doesn't allow full. Uh, uh, completion of the presentation and I'm going to lay the groundwork about uh, uh, the concept of urban metabolism and its relation to the concept of agency. Then I will uh, uh, give some preliminary conclusions uh, and problems related that uh, arise from uh, uh, this uh, cursory survey of uh, uh, the relations between those two concepts, uh, urban metabolism and agency. And I will present uh, uh, then I will present uh, uh, some insights from uh, uh, um, from a manuscript uh, uh, that uh, uh, I have been uh, uh, co-authoring with uh, uh, Daniela, and uh, which is uh, based on a computational analysis uh, of uh, uh, a body of research literature on uh, urban metabolism. So, uh, what is a metabol what is a metabolism in general, and how, how does the concept of agency apply to it? To start uh, uh, from the beginning, uh, per uh, to, to give a general definition, uh, per uh, biochemist Albert uh, Leninger, uh, author on a well-known uh, textbook on textbook on biochemistry. Uh, the most basic form of biological metabolism, i.e. Uh, cellular metabolism, is a highly integrated, uh, purposeful activity in which many sets of, of multi-enzyme systems participate for the purpose of exchanging matter and energy between the cell and the environment. This, acti this activity uh, is carried out uh, through a coupling of to, to the, through the coupling of uh, two uh, different kinds of pathways i.e. to different series of biochemical uh, uh, reactions uh, through which uh, flows of matter and energy are exchanged between the cell and uh, the environment and which can be described by corresponding series of uh, uh, balancing equations. First, uh, uh, catabolic uh, uh, pathways whose function is to degrade polymers uh, such as uh, polysaccharides or uh, uh, lipids into complex biological macromolecules uh, such as sugars or fatty acids and those same complex uh, uh, macromolecules into uh, simpler one, ones uh, uh, such, uh, uh, such as uh, carbon dioxide or uh, water thereby uh, releasing energy. The second uh, uh, series of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, chemical reactions constitute uh, what are known as anabolic pathways, whose function is to syn synthesize uh, complex macromolecules from sil simpler ones and uh, polymers uh, from, uh, uh, um, uh, from complex uh, macromolecules, notably uh, by uh, consuming uh, the energy provided by uh, the dephosphorylation of adenosine uh, triphosphate, so ATP uh, that is uh, uh, transformed into ADP and uh, uh, this chemical reaction provides the energy necessary for uh, the synthesis of uh, macromolecules and uh, polymers. Consequently, uh, cell metabolism can be regarded as a highly integrated system of material and energy flows. Such flows underpin all the activities unfolding within cellular boundaries, connect uh, cells with their external environment, are, quant are quanti quantifiable, and aim to sustain cell cellular structures and processes by fulfilling two fundamental functions. The first function is an autopoietic one, 
uh, and which is uh, which consists in providing the cell uh, with the resources needed to constitute uh, uh, its, uh, the, the cells on a building block. The second function is a physiological one, i.e. the physiological function of synthesizing and, uh, remo and then removing the biomolecules that are essential to uh, specialize the cell activities, such as uh, movement, uh, conductivity or photosynthesis. However, the material energy flows uh, that constitutes the metabolism of a cell are uh, embedded in broader biogeochemical cycles, i.e. Uh, cyclical exchanges of chemical substances and compounds uh, involving living organisms, uh, the atmosphere and the Earth's surface. An example of a uh, uh, biogeochemical cycle in which uh, uh, cell metabolism, metabolic pathways are embedded is uh, uh, the complex loop to which uh, uh, inert atmospheric uh, inert atmospheric nitrogen is uh, uh, which which is not uh, which cannot be used by uh, organisms uh, to carry out the metabolic function is uh, uh, converted into um, is converted uh, into compounds that can be assimilated by organisms such as nitrates or, am or ammonia then returned to its uh, original inert uh, form in the atmosphere. Moreover, uh, several metabolic uh, pathways are also integrated into broader metabolic networks that span different levels of biological organization. For instance, uh, uh, cellular metabolic networks uh, uh, are uh, uh, integrated into uh, the uh, broader uh, metabolic networks uh, network that sustain uh, the organism uh, to which uh, the, the, that uh, uh, comprises uh, said cells. However, there is a, still a higher level of biological organization, which is the ecosystemic one. Indeed. Um, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the metabolic uh, activities of uh, organisms uh, that uh, carry out uh, uh, photosynthesis and uh, aerobic uh, uh, respirations, respiration are, uh, contribute to uh, a wider ecosystemic uh, metabolism to the extent uh, uh, to which they participate in measurable ecosystem-wide uh, processes identified uh, through uh, metrics such as uh, uh, gross primary production, which is the sum of organic matter produced uh, through photosynthesis in uh, the whole ecosystem, ecosystem uh, respiration, i.e. the total amount of organic matter consumed in the ecosystem via aerobic respiration, and net ecosystem production, which is the balance between uh, uh, gross primary production and ecosystem uh, respiration. For instance, uh, this <coughs> diagram uh, from H.T. Odom's uh, seminal 1956 uh, uh, paper on uh, uh, primary production in flowing waters depicts how matter and energy uh, flow through, uh, through uh, an aquatic ecosystem and are processed by a tro by trophic network consisting of five levels. Plants, uh, decomposers uh, such as fungi, herbivores, uh, carnivores and top carnivores. So uh, in this uh, diagram P, uh, P, P corresponds uh, to P uh, corresponds uh, to uh, gross primary uh, uh, production, whereas uh, R uh, corresponds to uh, ecosystem uh, uh, respiration. So, therefore, uh, what is a metabolism? First, uh, the concept of metabolism identifies quanti quantifiable flows uh, of uh, uh, matter and uh, uh, energy. Second, this concept can be used to think about integrated systems characterized by some teleological uh, orientation, uh, in particular theological orientation towards the maintenance and uh, uh, maintenance, growth and development of a particular of a particular biological uh, system, be it uh, a cell, an organism, or a, a whole uh, uh, ecosystem. And 
Third, the concept of metabolism conveys the notion of a hierarchy of interlocking systems that spans, uh, that spans across various spatial and temporal scales. So, uh, based uh, on a uh, uh, purely, from the standpoint of a purely biological definition of uh, what a metabolism is, it is possible to uh, uh, identify those three characteristics, uh, that, uh, uh, those three aspects that make uh, the concept of metabolism appealing for uh, 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 those that are interested in studying how cities and uh, societies interact uh, with nature. Moreover, this uh, biological definition of metabolism allows, to, uh, establish, allows establishing a first connection between uh, the concept of metabolism and the concept of agency. To highlight this connection, it is helpful to sketch a paradigmatic view, to be nuanced uh, afterwards, of the main features that characterize the concept of agency from a philosophical standpoint, and in particular from uh, the standpoint of uh, uh, discussions about uh, agency uh, that uh, have been taken that have taken place uh, in the analytic tradition. And this uh, sketch is based on uh, Luca Ferrero's introduction to the Routledge Handbook of Philosophy of Agency. So, uh, the concept of uh, uh, agency comes into play when one asks what distinguished uh, events that merely happen, for instance, the interaction between subatomic particles, from events that appear to be the outcome of actions undertaken uh, by some agent or actor, for instance, a predator chasing uh, their prey. More specifically, the concept of agency can be used to spell out the attributes that characterize this actor's capacity to cause uh, such an outcome. For instance, goal directedness, uh, productivity, i.e. the capacity to make, uh, to make a difference in the world, to change a particular uh, existing state of affairs, a particular temporal profile that depends on the action's goal, for instance, uh, uh, some actions aim to produce new states of affair, affairs, whereas other actions are geared toward maintaining what exists. Both actions uh, can be viewed as uh, the expression of uh, an agentic capacity, but they, uh, they are characterized through uh, they, they, they are distinguished uh, by uh, different uh, uh, properties, in particular properties related to the way in which they unfold uh, in time. Uh, actions uh, that aim to produce new states uh, um, precede uh, the outcome, whereas action geared toward maintaining what exists uh, can be simultaneous uh, to, uh, their, uh, the, the, uh, to their outcome, to the uh, expected outcome. Uh, third, uh, uh, the fourth element, the fourth aspect is embodiment. Although the question stands uh, whether forms of, of abstract agency can exist, uh, for instance, epistemic agency. And fourth, in the intention, fifth, intentionality. Either in a weak sense, i.e. as a generic kind of proposing, proposiveness, or in a strong sense, as the kind of intentionality that characterizes human beings and therefore uh, implies uh, 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 an uh, con uh, 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 the fact of being conscious of a goal as a goal uh, that uh, an agent sets uh, to uh, themselves, uh, the capacity uh, to give reasons for uh, uh, acting in such and such a way, etc., uh, etc. Et so, um, biological metabolism provides an example of biological agency to the extent to which it can be understood as the outcome of uh, causal capacities that are exerted by biological entities qua metabolic actors and display the following characteristics. So first, uh, goal directness toward the sustainment of a cell, an organism and an ecosystem. Productivity, especially with uh, respect to anabolic uh, pathways. A particular tempor temporal profile that is adjusted to a cell's and organism's or an ecosystem's uh, needs. Embodiment in, a particular, in particular biological structures and processes. And uh, finally, uh, intentionality uh, could also be ascribed to metabolic actors, but only in extremely weak sense, which basically reduces to uh, goal directness. 
However, in what sense can one speak of the metabolism of cities? Under which conditions uh, do the agentic qualities of biological metabolism transpose to the other, this other form of metabolism? And uh, uh, here starts the second part uh, of this presentation on a uh, genealogy of the concept of urban metabolism, focusing in particular to, uh, uh, on the way in which this concept has been uh, developed in, uh, the, in the field of industrial ecology. So what is the urban metabolism? To give a, a, a synthetic definition, an urban meta the, urban, uh, the urban metabolism as a concept can be uh, described as an interdisciplinary concept that studies how cities interact with the environment and more specifically how they use resources uh, and uh, uh, emit pollution flows as well as the associated societal, economic and environmental uh, as well as the uh, as the uh, society, economic, and environmental challenges that are associated uh, to uh, these uh, uh, flows. Therefore, uh, uh, from the start, we can identify two uh, two aspects uh, to the concept of urban metabolism. There is uh, an aspect that is related to the uh, description, analysis, and to the definition, description, and analysis of a particular system. Uh, that is a, uh, an ecological, social, and uh, an ecological and, and social uh, system structure around uh, flows of energy and uh, and uh, uh, matter, i.e., materials or substance. And the second aspect is uh, the aspect related to uh, the uh, challenges that uh, uh, arises from uh, the. Uh, the activities that are necessary, the challenges that arise from the activity necessary to uh, maintain uh, the system, which are uh, so so social, economic, and uh, environmental. This uh, uh, double uh, nature of the concept of urban metabolism is uh, tightly related to uh, the emergence of this concept, whose uh, intellectual art underpinning, underpinnings date back to the late uh, 19th century. In particular, uh, to uh, uh, to development uh, of uh, uh, um, of, of uh, uh, agronomy and uh, um, uh, organic uh, uh, organic chemistry in uh, uh, in late nineteenth century German Germany and the way in which, uh, uh, for instance, Karl Marx uh, drew on this development to. Uh, uh, use uh, the concept of uh, uh, exchange of, of substances, uh, uh, of exchange of uh, uh, matter, uh, stuff, uh, stuff, pixel, uh, to describe the way in which uh, early urbanization impacted uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the in, in impacted the development of uh, um, the economic development of uh, rural rural areas by Modify not only the social organization <coughs> uh, of uh, uh, rural areas, but also uh, the very uh, bio, biological and physical qualities of the soils. However, uh, uh, the concept of urban me me metabolism emerged as a concept that was uh, uh, going, that was uh, uh, ready to be operationalized between the mid 60s and the early 80s. In particular, uh, the roots of the concept of meta overall metabolism uh, uh, lie in, uh, for instance, in uh, a particular uh, project uh, that was uh, carried, uh, that was developed uh, in uh, in the United States to establish an experimental green city in uh, Aitkin County, a rural county in Minnesota. This project was spearheaded by Atherton Spiel, Spielhaus, a geologist and uh, oceanographer, and Otto Silla, a press magnate. And in particular, uh, Silla. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was looking the, the following. I was in the, the, the following slide. So, in particular, uh, 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 okay. 
uh, I'm sorry, uh, a slide disappeared. Uh, so, um, in particular, uh, Spielhaus uh, uh, was very adamant about uh, uh, the city, the need to uh, uh, develop a city uh, that was based that, that was based on the use of uh, uh, technology to uh, build in sustainable infrastructures, modular infrastructures, and uh, to rationalize uh, the transportation and. Uh, 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 pollution uh, and uh, uh, the transportation system and uh, how pollution was dealt uh, uh, within the city. However, it was, he uh, was also very keen on uh, designing a city that uh, relied on a form of some symbiosis uh, between wastes and uh, uh, the production of uh, uh, the uh, uh, materials needed to uh, sustain the life of the population within the city. Uh, in the form of built environment, but also in the form of uh, uh, commodities uh, necessary to uh, sustain life. And uh, this, uh, uh, this project was both a technical project and a uh, political project related to, uh, th that uh, uh, was rooted into uh, major social changes uh, taking place in the, in the United States in the mid-60s. Uh, and in particular, uh, Spilaus had been concerned uh, with uh, the problem of pollution and how it uh, pollution affected cities. He had chaired a federal commission on pollution, on pollution established in 1963, and uh, the project of uh, building uh, this experimental city in Natkin uh, County uh, was standing continuity with uh, this uh, uh, previous uh, uh, engagement. Finally, uh, the project was uh, uh, ended uh, abruptly in uh, 19, between 1972 and 1973. Uh, despite the political connection established by uh, Silla, uh, who was a, a well-connected and powerful uh, press magnate, um, the problem was, uh, was, once again, the reasons for the project demise were technical, uh, but uh, uh, more, uh, uh, more po but principally, chiefly uh, political related to uh, Spielhaus technocratic approach to the development of the city and the uh, uh, failure to uh, establish a bridge between uh, uh, um, the, uh, uh, the experts that were uh, uh, working on the project and other uh, uh, and the local population and more globally uh, uh, what we might call the stakeholders associated with uh, the project. Another, uh, um, another source of the concept of urban metabolism is located near to us, in particular in uh, Brussels and in Paul uh, Duvigneau's engagement uh, in, uh, the, in various projects related to uh, urban uh, planning and urban and uh, landscape uh, planning that took place during the development of the, uh, Brussels, the Brussels agglomeration between the mid 90s and uh, uh, between the mid 70s and the late 80s. So Duvigneau was a botanist that uh, became interested in uh, the study of ecosystems First, uh, the, study, the study of uh, forests as uh, ecosystems and uh, uh, later the study of uh, cities as ecosystems. In particular, uh, he uh, drew a distinction between uh, ecosystem silva, i.e. Uh, the forests as ecosystems, and ecosystem herbs, i.e. the cities as ecosystems. He, uh, this distinction uh, proved cardinal to establish, uh, to establish and to establish and promoting an ecological approach to landscape architecture and urban planning in which the cities was seen as constituting itself an ecosystem. In particular, this approach is uh, established in uh, its first uh, uh, was first uh, uh, spelled out in, a, in an agenda setting article published. Uh, uh, in uh, 1974 uh, about uh, uh, and this article uh, uh, presented uh, an ecological study of the uh, urban ecosystem constituted by the city of uh, Brussels. 
So uh, Duvigno's approach was rooted in, uh, 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 in Eugene P. Odum's uh, uh, holistic uh, approach uh, to ecology. Mm, and uh, it, it's pre precisely uh, this inspiration that uh, um, oriented Duvigno uh, towards uh, what uh, uh, towards an ecological approach to the city as an integrated uh, uh, system. And uh, however, uh, it was also uh, it was also based. Uh, sorry. Uh, it, it was also uh, nourished by uh, Duvigno's uh, political engagement. Uh, in particular, he's, uh, uh, he was a member of a, a pro uh, francophone speaking uh, uh, political party in, uh, uh, active in Brussels and Wallonia, who, uh, uh, was, uh, which was keen on uh, establishing ties between uh, Brussels and uh, uh, Wallonia. And, and Duvigno's, uh, Duvigno's uh, uh, work uh, was also aimed at uh, uh, proving from a scientific ecological standpoint uh, the, um, uh, the, the, the links existing between uh, Brussels, uh, the city of Brussels as an ecosystem, and the larger ecosystem constituted by uh, Wallonia. because okay. I have the impression that some slides are not appearing but can you see it's on your own screen? Uh, I can see them when I'm not in uh, the panoramic uh, mode oh that's strange yeah. Yeah. that's really weird maybe you hide them? Okay, no. Yeah. Okay, I think that I solved the problem. This concept was uh, uh, further uh, developed uh, and uh, uh, applied in studies on the metabolism of uh, uh, cities, of different cities and uh, urban areas that uh, were carried on between 1965 and uh, 1981 in, uh, in different uh, geographical areas. In particular, there is this uh, uh, 1960 uh, Five article by this is the seminal uh, 1965 article by Abel uh, Wolman, who was an engineer and uh, uh, which uh, uh, dealt with the, uh, uh, the and which was entitled uh, metabolism of uh, a city and uh, uh, whose uh, uh, whose main uh, uh, Whose main uh, objective, was, whose main uh, goal uh, was uh, um, uh, pro was to was providing uh, or estimating uh, the, uh, the the uh, the the, the well, uh, uh, estimating the metabolism of uh, an hypothetical uh, American city of uh, one million uh, 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 inhabitants. And uh, uh, in this uh, uh, first uh, uh, sketch, uh, the metabolism of uh, the city was uh, uh, represented as uh, 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 the, the coupling of uh, uh, different uh, input and uh, 
output. In particular, a uh, woman was uh, interested in uh, uh, the problem uh, in uh, in solving uh, problems uh, uh, that were related to uh, the uh, uh, sustaining to, to, to sustain the sustainment and development of the city. Problem related to pollution, uh, water pollution, uh, air, but also air pollution, and uh, the uh, and and the. Uh, uh, depletion of uh, uh, food uh, uh, resources. Therefore, he uh, he uh, he adopted a, a balance approach and tried to uh, identify uh, to uh, draw a connection between uh, the volume of uh, 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 water necessary to uh, sustain the city and how this uh, uh, volume of water translated uh, into uh, input water translated into uh, 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 water um, into, into water waste uh, that were, had to be uh, uh, removed uh, by uh, the sewage system etc uh, etc et and uh, women's studies what was also what was inspired uh, by uh, Atest uh, Atestan's uh, uh, project, in particular, Woolman had uh, had been a member of uh, uh, Atestan's uh, Atestan's uh, federal commission on uh, on uh, pollution, and therefore uh, uh, this uh, his study uh, was was in part was uh, uh, related to uh, the development of uh, uh, the experimental city I uh, uh, just I just talked about. Uh, um, uh, however, uh, <coughs> uh, Woolman's uh, uh, study was uh, followed uh, by a uh, more uh, direct uh, application of the concept of uh, urban metabolism. In particular, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Zucchetto uh, sta uh, in um, uh, 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 undertook a study of uh, uh, the relation between the natural and human system in uh, uh, the urban uh, region of uh, Miami. And to carry out uh, this study, he relied on uh, uh, some fundamental uh, pillars of uh, the uh, approach to uh, modern systems in terms of energy flows and energy laws. That was uh, uh, developed by that had been developed uh, by Howard uh, T. Uh, Odom. Um, in uh, this, uh, the, the two fundamental pillars of uh, uh, this uh, uh, approach uh, uh, were uh, um, first. Uh, 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 Lotka's uh, uh, maximum energy principle, according to which uh, the global dynamics of an efficient system is uh, characterized by the maximization of useful energy, i.e. energy transformed in physical uh, work, and the flexible uh, circulation of uh, uh, such work. The second pillar was a formalism allowing to represent uh, the extraction, consumption and the circulation of energy uh, through uh, diagrams uh, that were analogous to the circuit uh, diagrams used in electronics, but uh, which purported to uh, represent the circulation of uh, energy. And this, uh, uh, this approach was applied by uh, Zucchetto in uh, uh, in order to draw uh, diagrams uh, that uh, 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 wh whose, uh, whose aim uh, was to describe the circulation of uh, uh, energy between different uh, consti uh, different constitutive elements of uh, the uh, uh, human natural uh, systems uh, uh, represented by in, represented by uh, Miami the, 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 the Miami area. And uh, in particular, those different uh, uh, component subsystems were represented either as sources or as uh, uh, sinks of energy, uh, precisely by uh, adopting this uh, formalism that uh, relied on an analogy between uh, the circulation of electricity in uh, circuits and the circulation of uh, energy. Since, uh, uh, however, um, 
Since the early 90s, urban metabolism research has drifted away from uh, the energy-based uh, uh, energy approaches inspired uh, uh, by uh, Odum's uh, uh, formalism, and in particular uh, in, the, in, in, in the early mid, uh, to mid uh, 90s, uh, the, uh, the foundation were, lay, were laid for uh, an accounting and uh, modeling approach known as uh, uh, material uh, flow analysis, which uh, uh, is, uh, constitutes uh, one of the uh, pillar of uh, uh, modern, uh, of modern uh, industrial uh, ecology. <coughs> and uh, um, this, uh, uh, this approach uh, was uh, 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 was was um, uh, applied and uh, uh, modified to suit uh, to suit the needs of other studies that uh, uh, were uh, uh, carried out in the uh, in the starting from the mid uh, 90s uh, until uh, the uh, until the recent years and uh, which uh, Constitu constituted uh, uh, the uh, establishment of uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, the uh, of industrial ecology as a, a discipline and also contributed to, es to establishing urban metabolism uh, as a fundamental concept within this discipline based on uh, the um, uh, on the uh, uh, formal uh, foundations uh, uh, represented by uh, the uh, <coughs> by the material flow uh, accounted uh, accounting uh, method. So. Um, So, in a, in, in a nutshell, uh, industrial ecology can be defined as the study of industrial uh, systems as uh, uh, ecosystems to use, uh, uh, to, to optimize the use of material and energy, reduce environmental impacts and production costs, and create industrial symbi symbiosis. Um, the uh, uh, material uh, flow uh, accounting uh, approaches uh, uh, are based on uh, um, well, uh, the underlying uh, uh, formalism and uh, conceptualization that, uh, uh, that, that on which uh, uh, material flow uh, uh, based uh, uh, material flow accounting approaches uh, are uh, based is a uh, uh, balance uh, is the use of uh, balance uh, balancing balance uh, models uh, that allow to uh, that apply the the, the the fundamental principle of the conservation of matter and the conservation of energy and uh, and to uh, match uh, inflow of uh, inputs with uh, uh, outflow of uh, uh, inpu inputs and uh, those uh, uh, those uh, approaches uh, uh, constituted uh, the uh, the way to which uh, uh, the concept of urban metabolism was uh, uh, finally uh, subsumed under uh, the uh, framework of uh, uh, industrial ecology, in which it is uh, which is uh, consti constituted the, the main uh, uh, field in which uh, the concept of urban metabolism has been uh, developed. Other uh, approaches uh, uh, were developed. Were developed in uh, uh, in the framework of uh, 
uh, of industrial uh, ecologies uh, during the late 80s and the early uh, 90s uh, on the technical foundation uh, provided by uh, material flow analysis, in particular substance uh, flow uh, analysis, uh, which uh, uh, it, it traces uh, the, the flow of particular uh, substances, uh, or particular uh, uh, chemical uh, substances, and uh, uh, life, uh, uh, life cycle uh, assessment. Those, uh, uh, the technical uh, foundation uh, provided uh, by, uh, dust, by, by uh, the uh, material flow uh, analysis uh, uh, accounting uh, models were predicated on a view of industrial systems as industrial ecosystems. Uh, therefore, uh, industrial ecology was uh, uh, emerged as a discrete based on what uh, some actor regarded as a biological or ecological metaphor, uh, whereas uh, others uh, have uh, been described this uh, uh, underlying uh, uh, metaphor as an analogy between the concepts of industrial ecosystem and uh, biological ecosystem. This, uh, uh, this underlying analogy or metaphor is, uh, is particularly apparent in uh, definitions of the concept of urban metabolism that have been uh, spelled out in uh, within the framework of uh, industrial ecology. In particular, this uh, definition comes from uh, uh, an entry in the, on uh, urban metabolism that is, that is part of an encyclopedia of uh, uh, ecology, um, whose author is uh, Yan Zhang. And uh, in this uh, uh, definition spells out uh, the, uh, the, an underlying uh, analogy between an dry view of uh, the city as a superorganism whose uh, internal mechanism interaction with the environment can be modeled as, uh, by an analogy with the natural ecosystem. Therefore, there is an underlying metaphor uh, that uh, allows to, uh, to, to think about cities as superorganisms and which serves uh, as uh, the foundation for uh, drawing knowledge between uh, um, uh, cities and uh, natural uh, ecosystem. Uh, furthermore, this uh, definition uh, highlights uh, the uh, a view of urban metabolism as uh, related to uh, the uh, living requirement of a city and its inhabitant, and uh, um, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, transformation and processes uh, that allows the transformation of uh, inputs and outputs that are necessary to uh, meet uh, those uh, uh, living uh, requirements. Therefore, uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, definition of uh, the concept of uh, urban metabolism uh, is uh, uh, particularly uh, is uh, uh, allows to uh, draw uh, analysis between the definition uh, between the concept of urban metabolism and the more general concept of biological uh, metabolism that I presented at the beginning of the talk uh, and this uh, uh, and those analogies are based on uh, are really are uh, uh, rely upon a system based uh, approach uh, on uh, uh, two uh, cities as e ecosystem and the urban metabolism as the uh, metabolism of uh, uh, cities. However, this system-based approach, uh, within this uh, system-based approach, the agentic qualities of urban uh, metabolic exchange have been under theorized. And uh, 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 frameworks concept approaches uh, relevant to urban metabolism and who, who, which are also uh, which also emphasize uh, the uh, systemic uh, nature of uh, 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 cities uh, as uh, ecosystem, and in particular the systemic nature of uh, uh, the urban metabolism qua uh, social ecological uh, system have been developed in other fields uh, that are uh, related to uh, uh, industrial ecology or. Uh, 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 which uh, uh, un uh, overlap with industrial ecology, but uh, uh, are uh, uh, 
rely on the use of uh, 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 models uh, that uh, differ uh, from uh, those uh, uh, used within industrial ecology. Such fields are, for instance, social ecology, and there is a uh, typo in, in the slide, uh, uh, urban ecology. Uh, so, uh, what are the uh, the four? What are the, the issues that uh, can be uh, uh, identified uh, at the uh, at the end of this uh, uh, preliminary presentation? The first issue is the necessity to bridge the gap between uh, systems and uh, actors uh, and characterizing urban metabolic systems. Uh, this uh, problem is related to fact precisely to the under theorization of the agentic qualities of, uh, um, of urban metabolic exchanges uh, that uh, uh, is a characteristic of uh, uh, system based approaches that have been developed uh, so far. Uh, to do so, it is uh, uh, possible to draw on conceptualization both from another field, the field of urban political ecology, uh, which has been uh, has paid more attention to uh, the problem of agency, in particular both human and non-human agency, uh, with respect to uh, uh, urban uh, metabolic uh, processes. Uh, since uh, uh, the constant notion of agency can be used to uh, highlight uh, the uh, political uh, character and the, uh, and the power dynamics underlying uh, those exchanging. And uh, drawing on uh, uh, conceptualization of agency developed in the field of urban political eco uh, ecology uh, allows uh, uh, outlining a conceptual framework that can be used uh, to analyze the agentive uh, uh, dimension constitutive of the urban metabolism concept uh, as understood from a systems uh, based uh, perspective. And therefore, it can be used to uh, explore uh, the uh, agentic features uh, of uh, uh, the urban metabolism as a social ecological uh, system. <coughs> This uh, is precisely the, uh, po the starting point of uh, uh, mm -hmm. the paper that uh, uh, we are uh, we have uh, uh, we have co-authored uh, with uh, Daniela, and uh, uh, which relies on a uh, quote-unquote uh, bottom-up approach. Uh, in particular, this uh, this paper aims to. Uh, define a, a conceptual framework, a minimal conceptual framework based uh, on uh, conceptualization of agency developed within urban political ecology and to uh, develop, uh, develop this framework uh, by uh, taking a computational approach and analyzing a large body of literature about uh, uh, the urban metabolism. And this more bottom-up approach can be uh, uh, Complemented through a top top down uh, approach, starting from the theoretical literature that constitute the background uh, for industrial ecology, uh, social ecology, and urban ecology, in particular uh, system systems uh, biology in the vein of uh, Howard uh, Odum and uh, Eugene Odum, and which is uh, uh, the aspect on, we, on which I'm currently working. And so. Uh, yeah, the other member of the uh, Metabolism Lab, uh, Professor Perotti, Elisabetta, and Hezan Amarian, who is a postdoctoral fellow working on uh, the modeling aspect of uh, uh, the uh, um, of the uh, of the project. And uh, I don't know if you have any questions so far. Maybe I can. Uh, what did you? What, what do you want to? Did you want to continue? You've been going fifty-five minutes. So. <laughs> I don't know how you want to. How you want to go from here? You're also. I mean, you're also the chair, so you can kind of do whatever. Yeah, you because want. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, your, it's your seminar series. Yeah. 
Uh, is there a, you like me to to uh, develop on uh, some uh, points of this ground uh, work presentation, or I can start presenting uh, some aspects of the manuscript uh, uh, on which uh, Daniel and myself have been uh, working and the computational analysis. We should start with questions on that yeah. stuff first. Yeah. Um, Maybe just a little bit of the background of everyone here. It's everyone from philosophy, I guess, right? In is also philosophy, right? Not only philosophy of science, also other kinds of philosophy, or main philosophy. Mostly philosophy of science. Most philosophy of science, yeah. science. okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. I have a lens back such an urban planning background. So, and then it's about also urban planning and architecture. I think, so, yeah. I think that's important to know. <laughs> so I have, yeah, I have, I could ask lots of things. Um, where do I want to start? Um, I guess one thing to, one thing to ask, um, so you 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 talked about this shift from uh, a previous foundation that was sort of sort of a more energy based understanding of urban metabolism to a sort of more bulk material based understanding of urban metabolism. I wonder what so so. That's cool and interesting, and I guess I guess this is just sort of an invitation to say a little bit like why did that? Other than I mean, maybe just sociologically, the people who are working on this they found a bunch of work in industrial ecology that seemed interesting to them, and so they ran with it. Maybe that's the answer. But like, why did that feel to them like the right, you know, like the like the change to make? And that's just that's a very that's a big change, right? That's a radical rethinking of what of what. The metabolism is sort of, if you will, running on right. It's running on, running on mass versus running on energy versus, I, I guess uh, you could think about an integrated effort to do both at once. What, what happened there? Thank you for the question. I, uh, I can give a primary answer and then maybe Daniela can correct or add things to what I'm going to say. So as I. Um, uh, as I highlighted in the, in the presentation, uh, the, uh, those, uh, uh, those kind, this kind of approach to say the urban metabolism uh, of uh, the metabolism of an urban area uh, by uh, uh, trying to conceptualize and quantify the relations between the human social system and the natural system uh, relied on. Uh, uh, the foundations of uh, Odum's uh, systems and ecology, and in particular uh, on the concept of uh, embodied uh, uh, energy or uh, emergy as uh, a universal energy uh, equivalent uh, that could be that, that can be used to uh, quantify the, the, the contribution of different sources of uh, energy. And uh, uh, this approach is still used in some studies, in particular uh, uh, studies uh, that have been uh, undertaken in uh, China on, uh, for instance, the metabolism of Beijing or the uh, agglomeration uh, uh, in which uh, uh, Beijing is situated. Um, but uh, uh, this uh, approach has been supplanted by uh, approach based on uh, uh, material uh, uh, flow analysis, uh, which uh, uh, is also what well, can, can this kind uh, material flow analysis relies on a kind of uh, uh, formula that was uh, developed, uh, uh, for instance, uh, uh, by economists. Uh, at the beginning, by economists such as uh, uh, Ayers and uh, Nies, and which uh, uh, was a generalization of the input uh, output uh, uh, table uh, approach uh, that was already uh, used uh, in, uh, in economics. 
And uh, I'd say that this um, kind of formalism was more uh, uh, practical. Uh, because, yeah, because uh, I imagine it's easier to get data about material flows, right? Like, that's got to that's gotta help. Mm. No. Yes, kind of, yes indeed. Um, if I might maybe add an aspect, it's a lot, this question is a very fundamental one, it's a lot to do with the consolidation of industrial ecology as a discipline itself, differently from uh, a systems ecology or um, ecology as a, as a whole, intended by the Udium brothers. Um, so basically the, the shift to material flow accounting actually came with the idea of we need to establish our own tool set to quantify the biophysical foundations of societies. As, as Nicola very well said, bringing, borrowing tools that were already established at the national level. So it's very important to say that the MFA first, development of MFA were uh, brought at the national level to understand input and output tables of national economies. And the idea is to say, okay, do we have that very powerful tool what about shifting it at the system, at the scale of other system, be them mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. urban, I mean, urban actually in a second, a second stage, and, but uh, primarily industrial systems, and use the tools people are familiar with, or start to be familiar in terms of national accountings, to understand the biophysical information. And that was the, uh, the, the very uh, significant political shift that was brought to um, with this new uh, establishment of the industrial ecology discipline and trying to move away from uh, uh, um, GPD only based accounts, so money based accounts. So the mass units were providing an interesting alternative to dollars. So that was one of the kind of uh, history of science more uh, kind of uh, answer to your question yeah, you. and um, say, okay, let's see if with this methods we can kind of move away from only associating resource consumption to money and try to quantify by fiscal foundation in mass terms using this input output approaches that were already developed at the national level. And this was done in a conference, it was written by, um, by water conference in the 90s, this con account conferences that then was translated into the social ecology kind of found family within the industrial ecology field. So it really it's really keep a very um, let's say characteristic um, approach within an all industrial ecology field, let's say now. Um, yeah, so it's it's a really important uh, aspect is yeah. to the political There's a complicated aspect, sociology yeah. here too. Yeah. Sorry to say? There's a complicated sociology yeah. here of, of this yeah, 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 of course. that's really cool. Yeah. Other questions? Yeah. Uh, so um, I have a very general question uh, on, on the relationship, uh, on the way this framework um, uh, articulates the relationship between metabolism and agency. So for example, when you were introducing the concept of agency, you were, I think you were quoting the Routledge uh, handbook of agency. So the, the problem I see normally with that kind of an analytical philosophy literature most of the time is that when they are thinking about agency, they are thinking about the very high level of the spectrum. So if you ask a normal analytic philosopher, agency implies stuff like um, um, intentionality, pr propositional attitude, so you, you kind of like re require the full scope of rational personhood. And, and of course, stuff that was under, underlined there uh, especially coming from theoretical biology, second order cybernetics, uh, theory of autonomy, tends to, uh, especially recent literature, tend to say, well, we need to rethink agency in a different way. Also, there's a huge debate in, bi in biology, theoretical biology, philosophy of biology, saying, well, we need to rethink agency. There's a huge debate recently on, on organismal agency, and the, the whole thing is, well, we need to rethink organisms and, as agents, etc. And, and the autopoietic framework, which was somewhere, somewhat behind the scene there, it seems to me at least, uh, had a long history of, that comes from cybernetics and second order cybernetics of, of conceptualizing systems agency in, in a different way that's not like, yeah, you need language and mm -hmm. rationality and all that kind of stuff. Um, especially in the Varelian tradition, um, normally you have the, the, the so-called the tradition of biological autonomy, you have the two dimensions of autonomy, what they call the constitutive dimension of autonomy, which is what has more or less to do with metabolism, with this 
the autopoietic nature of the, of the autonomous system, and the interactive dimension, which is, of course, the, 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 the system as the circular structure we need to, which needs to feed in onto itself to, to maintain itself, but it's not secluded from the environment because it has a, mm -hmm. to have the, the exchange of energy matter, you need to relate, to relate to the environment, so you, you need to have some sort of interactional asymmetry between the system and the environment in the sense that it's a system that initiates the, the relation, uh, and that is the so-called um, interactive dimension of autonomy. Uh, and within this, fra this, gen this general framework, that more, most recently there has been some debates uh, some colleagues in, the, in Brazil, especially, that uh, try to apply this, this conceptual framework to ecosystems. And th then the big question is, well, but is the ecosystem really an agent? In the sense that, for example, it lacks the a principle of strong individuality, which, for example, you have in an organism, the, the ecosystem does have some feature that resemble agency, but it's not exactly an agent. So. Uh, my question, like within this general background, um, uh, in what sense, uh, within this framework, are we thinking of the uh, urban ecosystem as an agent? In, in what sense is, is the, 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 the urban ecosystem an agent? Uh, and uh, what does it imply for, for the whole project? Thank you. I can. I can uh, uh, your first uh, answer, um, uh, Daniel, Elizabeth, I might jump in to, to add things in, uh, in case. Uh, well, I'd say that, uh, um, uh, first, thank you. I, I think you precisely unpacked uh, all of the particular conceptual aspects were baked <coughs> into my, uh, the first general presentation of uh, the concept of metabolism that were kind of leading in uh, precisely in that way. Um, uh, so to answer your question directly, uh, I'd say that uh, uh, um, one, when uh, one tries to uh, uh, understand the, the agentic dimensions uh, of uh, cities as an uh, ecosystem, uh, there is uh, um, an underlying uh, assumption in that so this, this underlying metaphoric uh, attribution of uh, uh, or, uh, organismal qualities to the city that can be found uh, in particular in, uh, some uh, 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 some approaches to the urban metabolism, in particular within the framework of industrial uh, uh, ecology, and which uh, is uh, in which in, in this uh, uh, attribution of organism quite to the city as an ecosystem comes directly from uh, Odum, in particular uh, Eugene uh, Odum, and uh, uh, it's a. Uh, uh, this, uh, this attribution of organismal quartz is uh, used well. Is used in uh, is exploited in a loose way. Uh, let's say to, uh, in some sense, uh, lay the groundwork and justify the application of uh, uh, particular methods uh, to the study of uh, uh, the metabolism of uh, uh, cities. And also uh, to justify a particular attention, a particular uh, interest for uh, uh, applying those uh, methods in order to uh, uh, in order to uh, in a certain sense uh, uh, resolve uh, solve. Uh, uh, ecological imbalances within the city by equating them with uh, uh, metabolic disorders. So uh, this uh, underlying metaphor, this underlying organism metaphor has uh, um, a heuristic function from an epistemological, methodological point of view uh, in, to, to the extent which it 
can be used to uh, develop methodologies uh, uh, based, uh, for instance, on traditional uh, material flow accounting uh, uh, methods or substance uh, uh, flow accounting methods. But uh, as a heuristic, uh, uh, for instance, a heuristic function in uh, another sense, uh, and uh, that uh, is uh, more related to the uh, application of uh, uh, urban uh, uh, metabolism uh, uh, based uh, uh, models and methods uh, and this, the, the goal of uh, applying such uh, models and methods uh, which is uh, a, quote unquote, which can be seen as a therapeutic uh, goal quote unquote uh, i.e. the goal of uh, uh, um, uh, curing ecological imbalances within the cities as uh, metabolic disorders can be cured in the case of uh, uh, an organism. And uh, besides that, I'd say that uh, uh, based uh, uh, on the work we have been doing also on the analysis of the literature we have been uh, uh, we, we have uh, uh, performed, uh, and uh, on the insights about uh, the agentic aspects of the constant urban metabolism uh, that we, we have drawn from this analysis, I'd say that uh, the, 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 the agent is not... Uh, well, uh, the, uh, an interesting and productive way of looking at the agency of urban metabolism uh, relies less on uh, uh, conceptualization of the city of the of the city ecosystem as an agent in itself, but uh, uh, more on the uh, on the identification of metabolic actors or metabolic agents within uh, the system itself, the, because uh, um, uh, methods that are used, for instance, in industrial ecology. Uh, to study metabolism of uh, cities, uh, rely on the identification of uh, uh, subsystems within the cities and the relation between the ecological relation between subsystems uh, uh, between such subsystems. Uh, in particular, it's the case of uh, 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 different uh, family of methods that I haven't mentioned before, uh, which is. Uh, um, ecological network analysis, uh, which uh, uh, builds uh, on the uh, uh, flow account on the basic flow flow accounting uh, approach uh, by introducing uh, network formalism and also a methodology of analysis that is uh, uh, more related, more akin to uh, ecological analysis. Uh, and tries to identify uh, relations between uh, different uh, sector, for instance, between different uh, economic, social economic sectors within the city um, by framing those uh, relations as ecological relations that been, can be quantified by looking at uh, uh, how, at, uh, how those uh, different sectors contribute to the overall uh, flow of uh, uh, materials uh, or energy between uh, uh, different uh, uh, between the, 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 the different components uh, of the metabolic system. I hope my answer was sufficiently clear. I think there is an interesting interplay between the first part and uh, this answer and the, the first part of your question in terms of yeah, we are mainly with this project, as Nicola just said, we're mainly looking into in boundary agents rather than systematization. But this is exactly due to the uh, missed link with the very origin of industrial ecology in terms of second order cybernetics. So, it, on the one end, yes, there was, if you, if you look at the few, uh, like the first race class study on the industrial ecology over metabolism, they all tried to establish this link with second order cyber cybernetic. But then, well, and then, Predominantly, predominantly refer to uh, Varela, in which they try to say, okay, basically what distinguish the way we the, the metabolism idea is the fact that we can understand 
um, things to an interplay between systems, natural system and social systems, and then you know that that time they go far away and say, okay, let's go to the lumen side of things and get into communication mm -hmm. systems. But what has been predominantly put forward is the fact that these systems are structurally coupled, that, which makes possible for them to you know self-generate and to go into the autopoiesis process. But then, if they are structurally coupled, what about the agency in terms of the lower spectrum of the agency definition? So as a, you know, maybe intentionality, etc. Et Where, where's this agency if this, if there are all these structures that kind of guide the development of the system? Um, and this is where we kind of chipped in <laughs> in the discussion and said, okay, then yes, indeed, where is the agency? What can be defined an agent and what not? And then looking on the one hand, this discussion, okay, what, so if you keep, keep it maintained into the, especially the Luhmann kind of uh, evolution of cybernetics, including also communication systems, so what about um, others, other way, other systems, uh, conceptual systems that are trying to, to question the, the notion of agency within the metabolic uh, kind of cosmos, especially urban political ecology? Mm -hmm. which was named also at the very end quickly where there you really they really are after a not just a different way of understanding agency because they want to establish a clear divide between urban political ecology, Marx and urban political ecology and neo vitalist approach in for example new materialism. So they would tell you, yeah, let's look into agency because we want to follow the money, because we don't want to compound a no new money agency with human agency. So, that, but we are kind of evolving in that, okay, on one side, link back to psychonormal separatism, so where, okay, is that was the agency in structurally coupled system? And on the other hand, okay, the urban political ecology side of the spectrum, which I we think is really interesting lens also to uh, advance certain things in, in metabolism. There is one paper that I might want to suggest, yeah. um, which was published in Adaptive Behavior in 2009. Um, the title is Defining Agency. Defining. Uh, defining Agency by Xavier Barandaran and Vitelli Paolo. So that, I think, that okay. really provides... So you're, mm -hmm. yeah. so you're, more, you're the, we're thinking of that cognitive science also kind of approach. Okay. I mean, they're, they're trying to provide a very uh, abstract uh, systems definition of agency which, does, which avoids usual issues you have when with uh, analytic philosophy definition of agency that are already very high up in the spectrum and they try to really okay what makes a system whatever kind of system an agent and that that's kind of for me it might be useful to really think about yeah sure yeah. thanks uh, thank you so much for your talk for the answers and um, actually it's kind of between um, Clarification question and curiosity, it's very easy to mention anything maybe, uh, for a biological side. <clears throat> the idea, very basically, sorry because I don't know anything about that, but uh, <clears throat> the idea is that um, when, when we talk about urban metabolism, it's kind of assuming that, you, you already maybe told us this, but I would like to be sure, it's kind of the city is a kind of metabolism, or nonetheless it's a metaphor, because it's not the same. <laughs> and you, you the, in the, the, before the last answer, you said this is a heuristic tool. So it's a metaphor that is heuristic tool, or it's really a metabolism. So we're looking for a metabolism. It's another kind of memory, but nonetheless we're looking for a metabolism. And this is my first um, clarification question. And the second is naive, nonetheless, because from the logical side, that even a cellular metabolism is very complex. This complexity is intrinsic to any metabolism. All the stuff that you show us, kind of mega biochemistry stuff, are yeah, kind of trying to to figure out in a mechanical way what is going on. But actually, the complexity is still there. Um, it's difficult to unravel all the level of this complexity, even if, uh, even if also at the cellular level. So my, my question is, what about this complexity? It kind of could be a weak point concerning the fact that we use metabolism in, as a metaphor, I don't know if this is the good way to say, 
to the city or could be a, um, a strong point in metabolism for our cell point of view is very complex in the same way we can see the complexity of the city because you told us that your, um, your biological base approaches system biology that tries exactly to deal with this complexity at different level of biological organization. And the last um, clarification curiosity, you um, really um, talk about yeah, metabolism, but yeah, all the literature on, on industrial ecology, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know anything about it, it's super interesting. But the city is then a metabolism or I call a ecological system. What is there? Because you say, the last uh, answer you said uh, something like, um, in order to be able to understand uh, the system, sorry, the ecological, the city as a ecolo ecological system, we have to look for metabolic, I don't remember what did you said, so kind of, it's, uh, what, what is the relation between these two aspects of the met metaphor, if it's a metaphor? Thank you so much. Sorry if it's no, negative, but I'm very curious about the answer. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for, for your question. So, um, starting from the first, uh, um, uh, for instance, uh, uh, from the standpoints uh, of uh, uh, Odum's ecology as uh, understood by, for instance, by uh, Paul Duvigno, uh, that I quoted, uh, that, 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 whose work I uh, referenced to, I referenced in the, the, the beginning of the presentation. Uh, the city is uh, an ecosystem. Is an ecosystem. It's a particular kind of uh, ecosystem. And uh, uh, in uh, uh, once again, within uh, this uh, Odumian framework, uh, an ecosystem uh, can be regarded as superorganism. So, uh, from uh, based on uh, uh, this, uh, based on uh, Odum's outlook on uh, ecology. Uh, the city as an, an ecosystem is uh, also a superorganism. However, in the way in which uh, uh, this identification uh, uh, between uh, city ecosystem and superorganism uh, has been uh, appropriated and developed by industrial ecology, uh, is more uh, heuristic in nature. Uh, for instance, uh, um, definition I showed uh, uh, is uh, interesting because it's uh, um, it exemplifies uh, how the how, how the uh, CTS program metaphor is uh, used, is understood as a heuristic uh, device without uh, uh, insisting on any ontological or methodological commitment. And, um, however, there, uh, there's been uh, criticism, uh, criticism have been addressed to uh, industrial ecology approach uh, to, the, to the city as an ecosystem, in particular from the field of uh, urban ecology that uh, I, upon which I touched uh, very briefly, and uh, in particular by works uh, uh, related to uh, uh, School in uh, urban ecology that is known as the Baltimore School of Urban Ecology because it was built by uh, 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 was built on the basis of a studies on the ecosystem of the uh, city of uh, Baltimore and uh, which uh, uh, and uh, those criticisms uh, uh, are uh, 
expressed in a, a debate uh, between uh, uh, Nancy Golubievsky, uh, urban ecologist, and, uh, um, uh, and Christopher uh, Kennedy, uh, uh, one of the uh, um, uh, very uh, an important, prominent uh, uh, industrial ecologist. And those criticisms uh, uh, highlight precisely the problem, uh, the question of uh, uh, understanding what kind of uh, ecosystem a city is. And uh, in particular, uh, Gurbievsky uh, criticized uh, the metaphorical, metaphorical and analogical uh, uh, use, the use of the identification between uh, uh, organisms and cities um, and insisted on uh, precisely the uh, view of the city as an ecosystem, uh, not as a, a system that uh, is uh, analogous or akin to an ecosystem, but as an ecosystem in itself, uh, which uh, uh, raises the question of uh, um, uh, precisely uh, looking at the fine-grained dynamics within uh, the urban ecosystems uh, and trying to understand how uh, the anthropized uh, uh, um, elements of this ecosystem interact with the uh, non-anthropized element or uh, <coughs> There, and therefore, uh, the necessity to understand the uh, uh, social uh, aspect, the, the social components uh, of the, the human social components of the urban ecosystem and the natural ones as uh, lying a sort of continuum uh, and as being different, ca different uh, components of uh, as, uh, the same ecosystem. And uh, also, the necessity, the, those criticism. Uh, highlight the necessity to understand uh, uh, localized uh, uh, and heterogeneous dynamics uh, within uh, uh, the urban ecosystem understood as a heterogeneous ecosystem uh, in which uh, uh, anthropized uh, elements uh, uh, are uh, uh, connected with uh, uh, less or less anthropized uh, uh, ones. And uh, to, to, uh, to answer the other questions, uh, uh, so uh, here I have a slide that I didn't include in the presentation, and uh, it's a uh, um, uh, substance uh, flow analysis, substance flow analysis uh, based uh, uh, model of the metabolism of the Greater Toronto area, and. Uh, the, uh, what's it, the, the, uh, uh, the mechanistic approximation of uh, uh, complex uh, dynamics uh, is also apparent in uh, this uh, particular representation of uh, the uh, urban uh, of the urban metabolism of uh, uh, the Greater Toronto area. And uh, as you well, as you were mentioning before, one uh, key uh, uh, challenge is uh, uh, identifying the uh, complex dynamic that uh, are uh, uh, that, that, under, that underpin this mechanistic uh, what mechanistic representation uh, of the ecological relations between different uh, uh, subsystems within. Uh, the uh, uh, urban metabolism of uh, uh, the Greater Toronto area, and one of the methodological uh, uh, problems that are raised, uh, for instance, in literature reviews in the, on the urban metabolism, in particular from the standpoint of industrial ecology, is besides the necessity to open the black box uh, constituted by uh, this. Uh, 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 representation, uh, this high level representation of uh, uh, relations between uh, different uh, uh, subsystems uh, uh, from the standpoint of uh, uh, the balance uh, between input uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, outputs. Uh, and so uh, the, 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 the question you raised uh, is uh, actually one on one. On, uh, methodological issues that is uh, methodology that is discussed in the field, 
and to, to answer your last question so um, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, so the the urban uh, metabolis the metabolism of a city uh, can be understood as a system, as a socio-ecological system uh, a system of uh, uh, flows and uh, interaction between uh, uh, between uh, uh, component uh, uh, subsystem and this uh, a particular way of looking at the city as uh, 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 as an ecosystem or as a hybrid uh, uh, social ecological system. So, for instance, uh, uh, the, to go back to the metabol metabolism, uh, the cell can be understood as a system uh, from a particular standpoint, and sorry, metabolism can be and also understood as a system uh, that is uh, located within the cell boundaries and is and overlays uh, is overlaid on uh, the uh, on the server system in in the sense that uh, uh, this uh, systemic representation of this systemic understanding of the server metabolism is a way of uh, studying processes that um, that unfolds within uh, the uh, the cells. So it has a metabolism. It's not a metabolism. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But the fact of having a metabolism subject to controversies yeah, between different schools of thought. Yeah. And then again, imagine it in the literature, or different authors. Yeah. Exactly. have its proper agenda of course. concerning the specific relation between notions I can imagine. Yeah, 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 sure. And, and in imagine. your project, well, what is your, I mean, your position concerning, sorry, this is another question, but concerning this point, this kind of a metaphor for you, what is, what is your um, orientation? So we are trying to understand how these different this readings can coexist, if okay. you want, because we believe they can both bring something to uh, the discussion, especially when we are looking into the agency thing, which okay. is our end goal, let's say, together with other stuff, but that's the main angle of the first years of the project. And and, um, and also not try to unify these views, but just okay. try to understand, yeah. okay, they, they are incompatible, yes, or is it just because people are not using terms in the same way? Um, so we are trying to kind of put in order between different schools, and we are looking to different, different discussing with different communities to have feedback on the work we are doing, just to know, you know how it's going to see. I myself have more grounded into the industrial ecology, kind of uh, historically, from relationship like with my own work. But I try in this project, for example, to really embrace this the more urban ecology aspects. So yeah. So we don't have a, like a stark position. We are trying to say, okay, let's see if these things can be compatible. It's, 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 com it's possible to speak together about these things in order to understand the question of agency. Thank you. <coughs> Other questions? We still have more time if people have comments, music. Yeah. yeah. Could you say more about the text analysis methods? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, maybe I'm, I'm going to devote another uh, uh, session of the, of the series uh, precisely on that point, but just to uh, uh, give you a, a quick, uh, quick preview. So uh, we worked uh, on a. Uh, So we worked on a, on a, on a corpus of, uh, article, of uh, research articles that uh, uh, we selected based uh, on uh, a primary selection of uh, source documents. 
Uh, more specifically, we identified uh, literature reviews and uh, uh, more theoretical uh, articles uh, that were related to urban, uh, urban metabolism or uh, to the theoretical foundations of uh, uh, three systems, uh, three systems based approaches to uh, urban metabolism uh, that uh, uh, we are interested in. And which are industrial ecology, uh, urban ecology, and uh, social ecology. And uh, uh, based on this uh, uh, selection, uh, we uh, 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 we uh, applied. Uh, it can all, but, but, uh, we uh, uh, extracted uh, the abstracts, uh, uh, title and uh, keywords from those articles. So we assembled those, for each article we assembled, uh, uh, we assembled those three elements in a document uh, uh, that was then uh, uh, pre-processed pre uh, using canonical uh, Methods, uh, uh, so we cleaned uh, uh, the, the, uh, the the text uh, by uh, by removing uh, stop words uh, and uh, or uh, by uh, um, uh, by ha homogenizing uh, the the text uh, and removing capitalization, etc., etc. Then we modeled uh, the, uh, those documents as a uh, uh, bag of engrams. Uh, basically, it's a, um, it's a technique that uh, uh, allows uh, representing a text uh, as a, a set of uh, 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 expressions uh, uh, constituted by n adjacent uh, words, uh, identi uh, n adjacent terms uh, identified through a uh, sort of uh, uh, moving filter. So, more precisely, in our uh, we represent each document as a sequence of uh, 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 monograms, bigrams, and up to uh, uh, pentagrams. So, individual tokens. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, also, we, we before uh, uh, modeling, we lemmatized and uh, tokenized the, the uh, document, and uh, we selected uh, uh, expressions uh, up to five uh, word, uh, five, five token expressions, and to avoid uh, including meaningless. Uh, 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 Meaningless uh, multi word uh, expressions, uh, uh, we eliminated uh, uh, expressions that uh, uh, were not uh, uh, present in a statistically significant uh, sense using uh, 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 NAR package quantida. So basically, by doing this, uh, we eliminated five, uh, we eliminated multi word expressions that are either very uh, present in uh, uh, very few uh, documents uh, or uh, very widespread and uh, based on this uh, 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 through this methodology we identified a lexicon of uh, uh, around uh, uh, 17 uh, uh, Sorry, I'm blanking on the on the exact number. Uh, uh, yeah, seventeen thousand four hundred thirty-one unique terms, and the the the. the the starting corpus was uh, consisted of uh, uh, 1,481 uh, uh, documents. 
and uh, then we analyzed the, the uh, uh, this uh, corpus uh, with the aim of uh, identifying uh, words uh, that could be uh, used to characterize the semantic field of the term uh, urban metabolism as uh, it is as reflected in uh, the corpus of literature uh, we analyzed. Uh, uh, may I share my screen because uh, I wanted to show I think if you just drag it's, it's like a second yeah. it's like a second yeah. monitor, yeah. right? Okay. You just have to drag it over. Thank you. Yeah, it's acting like a second monitor. Yeah, there it is. Annoying though. It's uh, Oh the resolution is awful. Unfortunately. It's really hard to see. That's our that's our projector's fault, not your computer's fault. <laughs> this is a bad projector. Okay. Let's see. Zoom in as much as you can and see if I can read them all. Yeah, that's okay. There we go. So basically, we drew on methods from uh, um, uh, computational linguistics, uh, uh, in particular uh, uh, corpora, compari corpora comparison and uh, text mine to uh, identify uh, words within a lexicon that were associated uh, with urban metabolism in a meaningful way. And more specifically, uh, we adopted a method based on a, a version of the log likelihood uh, test for uh, uh, significance of uh, frequency. And we subdivided, we split the corpus into a subcorpus uh, of uh, interest constituted by the uh, documents uh, that explicitly mentioned, that explicitly contained uh, urban metabolism and uh, urban metabolism as, a, as an expression, uh, and a subcorpus of reference uh, comprising the rest of the documents. And uh, We calculated uh, the uh, expected uh, frequency of uh, uh, words uh, co occurring with uh, uh, the expression urban metabolism in uh, uh, the subcorpus of interest and the frequency of those same words in the uh, subcorpus of uh, 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 reference. And, uh, Basically, the, the, this, in this case, the expected frequency of a word is uh, uh, just uh, uh, the uh, uh, actual frequency of the word in the, in the whole corpus divide, uh, multiplied by a factor that is uh, the ratio uh, between uh, uh, the total number contained in the subcorpus of uh, reference or the subcorpus of corpus of interest and uh, the total size of the lexicon so it, it's a way of uh, weighing the uh, uh, actual uh, frequency of the of the world in the in the uh, in the whole corpus uh, and uh, then we used uh, this uh, uh, log uh, Look like the uh, statistics uh, that is uh, uh, found, found in, the, in the literature about uh, corporate comparison, and this uh, look like this uh, uh, statistic can be in, uh, interpreted uh, as in the same way as uh, the uh, key squared uh, statistic. Uh, and by that I mean that we can use the same, uh, a priori we can use the, the, the same uh, uh, critical values uh, uh, to, uh, 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 to, to uh, assess uh, the significance of uh, uh, the difference between uh, uh, the frequency of a given word in uh, the subcorpus of interest 
and the frequencies are the expected frequency of the same word in the sub uh, uh, corpus of reference. And uh, this uh, test uh, allows to identify uh, terms uh, that are that characterize uh, uh, the subcorpus of interest in that uh, their uh, frequency in that subcorpus is uh, uh, either, either higher or lower than the frequency in uh, the other uh, corpus uh, in a statistically significant way. So by doing so, by doing that, we identified uh, <coughs> words that uh, uh, words and uh, expressions uh, that uh, are uh, uh, associated with uh, uh, the expression urban metabolism because uh, uh, they co-occur uh, uh, because uh, they uh, their co-occurrence with urban metabolism is significantly more put a good important that their occurrence in general in the whole corpus or is uh, significantly less important that their uh, uh, co-occurrence in the whole corpus and therefore those two groups of words uh, um, uh, can be used to identify it to uh, map either the core of the semantic field associated with the term urban metabolism because uh, uh, the the words or expression in question are uh, uh, significantly uh, co-occurring with uh, urban metabolism. They are they are significantly sorry. They are significantly more co-occurring with urban metabolism in a sense uh, with the expression urban metabolism. Uh, whereas the other uh, words, uh, uh, i.e., the words the, uh, whose uh, frequency in uh, the subcorpus uh, of interest is significantly lower than their frequency in the subcorpus of reference are words uh, uh, that occur with, uh, with urban metabolism but uh, uh, which map uh, in a way the boundaries of the semantic field of urban metabolism because uh, uh, they uh, are uh, um, uh, more associated with uh, the uh, part of the, the section of the corpus that does not contain the whose document uh, does not contain the expression of metabolism as, as such. And, and how does that method compare to the models that you observed and then this? Because I've gathered that from most models you would very easily get the same kind of information. No? And what is the advantage? What are the differences between using this, this method and this method? I also uh, try to use uh, uh, word embeddings, and uh, well, the the uh, the uh, I think that the the, the main uh, uh, the main gain from uh, this other kind of uh, method is that uh, it allows to. Uh, uh, start uh, these this methods start from a holistic perspective, a, a corpus-based uh, 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 perspective, and uh, then allows to uh, identify uh, a section of the corpus uh, that are uh, related to uh, uh, the, uh, the expression of interest. Uh, as a set uh, of, uh, of documents uh, and uh, by zooming in uh, the selection of documents allows to uh, map uh, uh, the semantic field of uh, uh, urban metabol of, of the, the, uh, the term of interest by incorporating uh, uh, information uh, about uh, well, let's say thematic uh, contentual information that is in both in uh, the documents. Mm. But can't you do the same also with document embeddings? Why don't we why don't we make that appear this of your conversation? Oh, because sorry. it is a uh, three fifty nine. No, there now it's four, exactly. <laughs> so why don't we thank our speaker and uh, and